Over the past decade, several measures have been taken to stop illegal logging in the greater Mekong region. The European Union partnering with tropical countries to fight forest crime is one example. Key to this collaboration is signing a Voluntary Partnership Agreement, or a VPA. This is when both sides commit to trading only in timber products that can be verified as legal. Under the VPA, countries have to set up a system capable of this timber legality verification. Once operational, the system will issue special licenses to a company verified legal timber products destined for export to the European Union. In Southeast Asia, Indonesia is an example of a partner that has fully met VPA standards. Since the signing of its agreement with the European Union in 2013, Indonesia's annual deforestation rates has fallen by half from 2014 to 2017. But what the case of Indonesia shows that VPAs could be a potent solution for deforestation within the greater Mekong, Vietnam is the first and only country in this region to have signed a VPA. So why haven't VPAs been a wider success? The regulation process takes time, but potential downsides and regional instability have likely caused their adoption to stall across the region. Strictly enforcing regulations can worsen rural poverty. Adapting production to the demands of the agreement requires an investment that not everyone can afford, especially micro, small and medium companies. That's why some argue that VPA initiatives should also come with access for these smaller players to government support programs. Ending illegal logging in the greater Mekong region is a tricky issue, with many factors at play. If governments, companies and consumers start to assume greater responsibility though, they can still act in time to save one of the world's most threatened tropical forest regions.